What's up, internet? My name is Bear, and welcome to a brand new Mad City video. Um, yeah, these these have been popping off, guys. Thank you so much for watching these. I love making them, and today, I, uh, as you probably noticed by the title and thumbnail, have a really good video for you guys. It is actually how you open the secrets, or, well, I guess it's not that secret, but the chest in the pirate ship. And first of all, we're obviously gonna go to the pirate ship, so you know where that is. It's pretty hard to miss, but just in case somebody hasn't found it yet, uh, we're gonna go there. And from there, I'll show all the steps of what you need to do to actually open that chest, because you cannot open it straight off the bat. So that is what we're gonna do together, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop in my plane, start up the plane. It takes a, it takes a while for this thing to boot up, but I actually genuinely love this plane. It's really fun to fly in. Uh, just the mechanics overall are really good. So as you can see, the pirate ship is right over there. Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. It, 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 as I said, you have the weapon store right over there. And then if you just fly over the volcano, you will see the pirate ship. So the prison is right over there. It's on the other side of the map compared to the prison. So what you want to do from there is you go down to the area. There's a pretty large sand kind of area and it's really good i actually just bought the vip game pass and the heavy weapons game pass and i've been loving it it's been making life a lot easier i'm in a private server by the way not my personal private server anyway you have this guy uh he tells you a little bit more about what you need to do so uh hey you came looking for treasure as well huh or for our treasure huh uh well that's too bad because i threw the only map into the ocean oh well that's not good um, you'll never find it unless you, unless the tides, never mind. So, yeah, that is pretty sketchy and pretty shady. So let's actually see what this treasure is about. Because before we, we go and achieve a goal, we might want to look at what the goal actually is. So, down here, there is this secret freaking scary chest that is doing all sorts of scary stuff. So, it's laughing and everything. And we need a key. For that to happen. So, um, as you, as some of you might have already noticed in my inventory, there's a map which I can pull up. Uh, I found this because that is the next step. You need to find a map. So, um, how this works is what this guy said uh, the tides need to be right. So, it's a matter of timing. It will spawn around the map. It could literally be anywhere on the map as long as it's on the coast so I'm not entirely sure if it if it could be like on an island like this but it, it's definitely it could be all around here on the island so for me it was somewhere around the city over there so it could be pretty far away but just fly around the map a couple times fly around the, the coast make sure to check all the little things in the coast I'll put up a picture right over there on what it looks like so so you know what to look for so that is what you have to do now okay so once you've looked for the map so for me it was somewhere around here but uh, anyway once you have the map it will look like this you'll have this map and it will show a couple locations and you might be like okay well that doesn't really help me but it actually does help you um, it shows the locations within the map where we need to go so there's three locations. Uh, I'm just going to do them in a random order. You could do them in any order. But one of these locations will have the key. So the first location is going to be opposite of the waterfall between the bank and the weapon store. So the bank is over here and the weapon store is over there. So somewhere around there, there should be a, a waterfall. And opposite of that, there should be a little island. So yeah, over there is the waterfall. You can see it right over there. So you have uh, the bank over there, the weapon store is over there, and it should be right here on this island in the coast. So right around here, there should be a place, and it should make a noise. Okay, guys, so it is right over here. It does make sort of a glittering noise, but it's very hard to make out. But make sure the trees are lined up like that, and then just walk towards the rock. And you'll see it right over here. So it is actually right in opposite of the waterfall. Actually, not exactly. But anyway, it's right over here. So you want to dig and boom, 
It looks like there's nothing here, but maybe it could try it somewhere else. So that is the first location. It wasn't there for me, but it's always random where it's going to be in either one of these spots. The next spot is going to be in front of the prison when you have the prison in your back on the left. So I'll explain that further once we're there. So I'll see you there. So our second spot is actually this one right over here. So you have the prison right there. And if you walk a little bit backwards, you should see the radio tower appearing over there. So it is if you just walk into the wall you can find it so prison right over there radio tower right third further down the line there so if you dig you have a chance to find it so in my case there's again nothing here so then there's only one spot left which we're gonna go to right now i'll quickly try to explain it vaguely it is near the lighthouse in the neighborhood area so we're gonna go there and i'll see you once we're there so the third location is right over here as i said you have the lighthouse over there and you can see the crane over there and all that good stuff. So it's in a little neighborhood area and you need to be right over here. So right next to the little greenhouse and in, bet in between the purple and the greenhouse, that should be it. So this should actually be the key for me. Boom, the golden key. So that will make you lose the map that you had and it will be traded for a key. So what you can do with this key is open the chest. So I'm super excited because I actually haven't opened the chest before and that's what we're gonna do right now so um give me a second i'll fly right over there it's all the way across the map so that's a bit of a pain actually let me drop off some some cash just in case something weird happens and well it's just 600 but yeah give me a second okay we're actually here let's land and get the oh okay sorry trees let's go and get the treasure of the dutchman so I think that, I, I don't know if that's the official name, but we're just going to call it a Dutchman. Let's open it up. I'm hyped. Boom. What's going to happen? Oh, I got some sort of superpower, I think. Oh, and now I need another key. Okay, well. Oh. Okay, so we got Dutchman powers, whatever that is. It's like lightning and stuff. Guys, we're actually a superhero or super villain, I suppose. I don't know what we are. But that is kind of crazy. You get four jolts of um, Dutchman electricity. And I don't know if it's like a special... I don't know how great the superpower is. Because I'm in a private server, so I can't really test it out. And I don't know. I don't think I'll keep it. I think I'll have to do everything again. If I'm correct, I can do this quest again and again. And I don't think you'll keep it if you switch servers. And you'll have to do it all over again. So that is sort of a shame. But it is still a cool power, and you can have your little electricity bolts going at it. And it's just a free superpower, really, so... Um, I don't know. It's... I expect something more. I expect some more, like, money and stuff that I got from it, but... I'll take this. This is kind of cool. So I'm curious as to what you guys think and I'm just gonna quickly rob a jewelry store with this superpower because it makes things so much easier. Then again, this is a superpower that everybody can get. So no matter if you're a policeman, another like a superhero, or if you're a, um, 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 uh, if you're a criminal, if you're a policeman, I, I think policemen can get it. I, I haven't tried, but I assume they can. And, um, yeah, I think that is kind of cool, though. Like, as a super, uh, no, as a criminal, you can just get this and become a super villain without having to kill other superheroes. Yeah, it is kind of a nuisance to find the map in a bottle. That, that did tick me off uh, when I had to do it at first. But, yeah, let's, let's freaking get some more. Oh, all right, here we go. I don't know how much or how many diamonds I can get before this is full. I think it's 9,000. Not entirely sure. Oh, it's more than 9,000. Okay. 10k? I'll take that. That is a big cash-in. Yeah, that's a 10,000 10, cash-in. I'll take that. Okay. Let's get out of here. So, boom. We can just go over to this without any issues. It's pretty fast as well, this Flying Dutchman thing. I don't know if it's particularly faster. I haven't tried if, if it's faster than any other flight powers, but I like it so far. It's it's pretty fast. Okay, so I'm going to cash this in and um, after that, we're just going to do an outro. Okay, guys, without further ado, I think we're just going to go over to the outro screen so I can take you guys out of the video.
I'll see you there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know with a like rating down below, of course. Make sure you're subscribed, which you can do right over here. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. Very important if you like this sort of content because I do plan to produce a whole bunch more of this. Anyway, also check out this video over here. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it as well. And I hope to see you in my next video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.